Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason Worley. Today we have our LB7 Duramax S400 Overstock Compound Turbo Kit. The LB7 Duramax, first introduced in late 2000 for as a 2001 model year and redesigned by GM in mid-2004. It was the very first common rail diesel offered in light duty, three quarter ton and one ton pickup trucks. It also happens to be the first diesel that we purchased here at WC Fab and the compound turbo kit is one of the very first compound turbo kits we ever built back in 2010. As the years have gone by and the LB7 gets a little bit older, we're starting to see a lot more people buy up these older trucks and starting to rebuild them and make them look like new again. The compound turbo kit is an awesome upgrade for your daily driver, tow rig, and everything in between. The major benefit to the compound setup versus just a single charger upgrade is the wide power curve that the compound turbo offers you. This kit is designed to be used with the OEM style IHI turbo, whether it is a bone stock factory turbo or an upgraded stealth style drop-in turbo. What we're doing is we're mounting an S400 frame, often a 75 to 80 millimeter compressor wheel as an atmosphere turbo on the passenger side off in the fender. And that low pressure charger is feeding a small amount of compressed air into the inlet of that high pressure Valley turbo charger. What this gives you is a truck that drives like stock, has super fast throttle response and quick turbo spool up like an OEM turbocharger does. But instead of hitting that flat line power curve at 3000 RPM where the truck just doesn't really seem to accelerate any harder or work any better, where boost might climb but just creates heat and doesn't necessarily make more power, that's when that compound application really kicks in and takes that power curve and lets it run to a higher RPM and gives you a wider range of usable power and much cooler EGTs. One of the biggest benefits you'll hear people talk about with the compound turbo application is the cool EGTs. And that is because of that compounded atmosphere air. Just a couple pounds of boost from that atmosphere turbo makes a massive difference on how efficient that Valley Turbo works. So even with trucks with stock fueling, you don't have to have upgraded fueling modifications. You bolt on a twin turbo kit, if you do a lot of towing, you will immediately see a massive drop in EGTs, often as much as 200 degrees in extreme towing applications. If you're pulling recreational trailers or enclosed trailers, say through, through mountains or up the hills, where the trucks typically will see high EGTs, the addition of the compound turbo kit will automatically make those EGTs drop. So let's talk about the components of the kit. Our S400 Overstock compound kit comes with all of the necessary components to install an S400 Atmosphere turbocharger. The turbocharger is a separate add-on item because there's several different options in sizes. You can powder coat that compressor cover. We can ceramic coat that exhaust housing, heat blankets. Those are all extra options. The kit itself in its base form comes with all the needed components to install that S400 turbo. To install that new Atmosphere S400 turbocharger, we have our heavy-duty fabricated steel turbo pedestal. This bolts to the side of the engine block and to the bottom of that S400 turbocharger with an incorporated oil drain. This supports that S400 turbo off to the passenger side. It does require relocation of your passenger side battery due to the size of the turbocharger and the location of where it sits. Some guys, if you're in a warmer climate, just eliminate that battery. Other guys like to put it in the bed or the toolbox with battery cable extensions or we offer our frame rail mount battery tray kit. With our stainless steel braided oil drain line, you will drill and tap a hole in your lower oil pan for that oil to return back to sump. So the components that connect to that S400 turbocharger. First, we've got our five inch intake pipe, which houses your mass airflow sensor. And then we have our five inch air filter with our water repellent outer wear's cover. The S400 turbocharger compressor discharge goes to our three and a half inch charge pipe. This charge pipe connects to our three and a half inch intake horn, which replaces the factory three inch cast horn. That connects to the factory IHI style turbocharger. That handles your cold side compressor of the twin turbo system. On the exhaust outlet of 
your IHI turbocharger. Instead of the exhaust going down to your exhaust system, it is rerouted back over the engine by way of our two-piece hot side exhaust pipe with supplied heat wrap and clamps. You can wrap that hot pipe to help contain that heat. That connects to our T6 flange at the exhaust housing of the S400 turbocharger. And that goes down to your four inch exhaust system, which you'll cut at the very front and connect with supplied band clamp. So everything from the compressor side through the exhaust and the downpipe are all new supplied parts. A couple more components we'll touch on that are a part of the kit is our cold side intercooler pipe as well as our three inch high flow Y bridge. And we do also offer our hot side intercooler pipe upgrade as well. The cold side is connects to the intercooler with our three inch silicone boot. And we connect to our three inch Y bridge with another straight silicone boot. Our high flow Y bridge is a massive increase in airflow over the factory component, which is neck down greatly at the inlet to the intake manifolds. With a supplied FPRV block off kit and hoses, we're able to eliminate the hard lines that sit above the factory Y bridge which gives us a lot more room for a larger cross-sectional flow on our high flow Y bridge. We use a nice O-ring seal on our tapered flanges that mate to the OEM intake runners. Y bridge comes with a port for a boost pressure sensor as well as your factory map sensor. The hole for the map sensor comes undrilled. If you have an 01 model LB7, your map sensor is actually located on the intake bridge and will not get relocated. If you have a 2002 to 2004 LB7, you will drill out that hole for the MAP sensor so that your MAP sensor can read boost pressure. One last component of the kit that rounds out the compound turbo setup is our new fabricated coolant tank. When we mount that Atmosphere S400 turbocharger, we eliminate that large OEM coolant tank. So we supply a new fabricated coolant tank that mounts to the fender and gives additional clearance for that larger S400 turbocharger. That comes with our nice black anodized cap and all of the necessary hoses and fittings and adapters as well as a low coolant sensor so no low coolant lights or anything to worry about. So if you've got a nice LB7 that you're looking to make an ultimate tow rig out of, hands down the compound turbo setup is your number one choice to give you the widest range of power and coolest EGTs for towing and heavy use. All powder coating done here in house. This kit shown in gloss black, which is our in stock quick to ship color. If you're willing to wait a little bit longer, we've got 35 other colors to choose from. And for a small upcharge, you can choose any custom color you may like. If you've got questions about the compound turbo setup, whether or not it's right for your application or which turbocharger to choose for your atmosphere, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to our sales team. We'd be happy to help. Thanks a lot for watching.